By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have some more exciting 93-94 Magic the Gathering action happening. But before we start the show, I'd like to ask your attention on the info card that's appearing right now. Because Timmy Talks has a Patreon and I'm really happy with my patrons. If you also want to support the show, click on the link and have a look at my Patreon. Let me know what you think. And if you want to, you can pledge and support the show financially. So that's enough about Patreon. Let's continue with the actual match of today. I am playing against a mono black player. He's sitting on the left and I'm playing with my mono blue Timmy deck on the right. Now, before I do the deck tech, if you want to go straight to the game itself, you can click on the timestamp below in the description and it will take you directly to the match. And here I am uh, going to continue by showing you the deck photos of both of these decks. And here we see the deck of my opponent. It's a really classic mono black deck. And look at the way it looks. Almost everything is black bordered. Almost, I think. A few cards aren't, but it's just. Stunning, very jealous here. Interesting that he's playing with Greeds. I think that's a good decision here, drawing some extra cards because he can go quite quickly if he finds his Dark Rituals. And also there are the Juzam Jins. So I really love that creature, but that's going to be really tough for me to play against. And, ooh, we also see that Royal Assassin. So we kind of, maybe we can we can see a Royal Assassin versus Timmy battle here, Prodigal Sorcerer battle. We'll see. So this is the deck of the Mono Black player. Now let's have a look at my deck. Okay, so this is my deck, uh, Mono Blue, four Protocol Sorcerers, and um, you could say it's kind of a ping deck, but it's not. If if the game goes more towards ping, I'm going to use my clones to copy my Protocol Sorcerers uh, or my Pirate Ship. If the game goes more towards uh, combat, then I'm going to cop uh, clone my uh, Air Elementals and my Mahamoti Jins. So I'm going to do it differently. I'm also playing with two Control Magics that I think can be... Uh, decisive in this matchup because it's always difficult for black kind of to um, get rid of enchantments. So once I play out a control magic on, for instance, his Royal Assassin or maybe his Juzam Jin, that's going to be very powerful. Also, those Maze of Ifs will probably help me to kind of get the uh, Hypnotic Spectres off my back so that hopefully I don't have to discard all too many cards. And what's going to be very decisive, I think, is to see who's going to have the Royal Assassin or the Protocol Sorcerer on the board first. Because obviously when, a, when the Royal Assassin is on the board, I am probably not going to play out a Timmy and the other way around. So that could be qu quite decisive. So there are some interesting elements here in this matchup. Let's quickly go to game number one to see what's going to happen here. Game number one. Drawing my cards here. And so is my opponent. So my opponent is sitting on the left with the mono black deck. I'm sitting on the right with the uh, mono blue deck. And let's see, there's always this uh, threat when you're playing against Mono Black that there will be that Dark Ritual. And I guess I'm lucky you're playing my second island, having a lot of lands here. Will there be a counter spell? And yes, there's a Mana Drain, actually. It means I have six mana. Maybe a Mahamoti Jin if I'm really lucky. Oh, <laughs> boom! Oh! <laughs> Mahamoti Jin, baby. Oh, I have to be honest, I remembered that play because it's just a really nice moment. Um, there is a control magic. Oh my goodness, seven damage. Wow, what a flying start here. And there's the Juzam Jin, beautiful creature. But I've got two flyers here dealing seven damage. And you know, this game is pretty much played already. Crazy how this is going. Very bad luck for my opponent. And there is a Tome. I don't think it's going to be very relevant, but you never know. And there's a double. Wow, a double sinkhole here. Losing some creatures, taking some damage. But it's not enough, and I'm winning this game. Wow, that was that was really, really, really fast. I remember the, the, the Mahamoti, but I didn't remember the game went this quickly. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's quickly go to game number two. Game number two is about to begin with the mono black player here on the play. And what a crazy game. I don't think there is a big chance of that happening again. But I have it on camera here. 
And uh, it's a mono black player on the play playing a, oh, not a basic land, he's playing a Mishra's Factory. And I'm playing a basic island passing turn here. Attacking me for two, going to 18. So he's uh, he's playing aggressively. And playing my own Mishra's Factory here, finding a Simbat. And there's a Hypnotic Spectre on the table. Finding a Mace, which is not unlikely since I play with four Maze of Ifs. And also the Simbat is in the deck to kind of help me find Maces if I need them. So of course that's a great protection against those Hippies. And remember I have 28 lands in my deck. So I don't really need any strategy or card to go with the Simbat. There's a Drain Life. Activating the Simbat for one last time. Finding a Desert. There's an attack. Sending it back. Finding another factory. That means I can pump it now, dealing three damage. So the mono black player going to 18 here, playing a dark ritual for three black. Wow, look at that. Tapping some extra mana here to cast a hypnotic specter and a black knight. So he's got a lot of creatures. Maybe I need a second maze here. Oh, that's even better. A control magic. And control magic is very strong in this matchup. And is he going to attack? He is, and I'm basically trading his own creatures here, so he's losing both of his hippies. Playing another Black Knight, and that's a problem because it's a four power first strike block here, but this is gonna help me because it flies. There's the air elemental. Passing turn here. There we see a terror taking care of my air elemental. You probably saw a little glitch there because um, there was a pause in the matchup. It's not very relevant here. Playing the desert that I found earlier. Look at that. Playing a pirate ship. That's a 4-3 and playing another Simbat. And I'm kind of pointing out that the Simbat is on the pirate ship and the air elemental is blowing air in the, uh, in the sails of the pirate ship. <laughs> oh, oh no, there's a royal assassin. That's not really great for me. And playing a clone, I'm wondering what I'm going to clone. Oh, of course I can use my pirate ship to kill the royal because it still has summoning sickness. And I wonder if I cloned the royal assassin or the pirate ship. I think I cloned the pirate ship because then I can start shooting off the black knights. And we'll, we'll know soon enough. And it looks like I'm taking control of this game again. Somebody's stealing my pirate ship here. Give it back to me. There it is. Passing turn. Probably going to wait for end turn to kill. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Killing his black knight. And look at that. I mean, I really thought the mono black player was not doing so bad. But I've got complete control now. Even playing a chaos orb to make matters worse. Playing four here. And there we see a greed, not a Juzam Jin. And another island. And I'm going to play it on the Chaos Orb. That's a hit. The end of the orb. And attacking here for four. Going to 11. I can also ping him for two. End of turn. There's a Juzam Jin, but I have those mazes to protect me. Or actually, I have one maze to protect me, but that's enough. That'll do the trick. He's going to eight. Also has to take damage here from the Juzams. Dealing two more damage. So he goes to six, playing another desert, going to five here, using his greed, he has to go to three. There's a sinkhole on the maze of if, and that's it, he knows it's done. Wow, and uh, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect the mono blue deck to do so well. I mean, I knew it, uh, it had a fighting chance, but just winning two games in a row like this. That's pretty good. Thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing. If you're not a subscriber yet, yet, that really helps. You can also like this movie, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it on your social media. Help me 
grow the channel. And as I said at the start, I also have a Patreon. And in the background here, you see me kind of going through that Patreon page. So if you have a moment, take a look. Let me know what you think of this Patreon page in the comments below. Talking about Patreon, I would like to show you my patrons. Let's get to the end credits. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazink.